know what a prime number is. If you know what a prime number is, put a thumbs up in the chat. And if you don't know what it is, put a thumbs down in the chat. I'll give you guys a second. Because I don't want to put it on the screen. Otherwise, you guys are gonna you guys are gonna know what it is because the screen, the the, the definition of what a prime number is is there. Excellent. <laughs> no, do me so forgot. Sangha says thumbs up instead of thumbs up. <laughs> Excellent, Sia. Well done, Malwanda. And Canva. Oh, this, so this is going to move. This is going to go like a little bit quicker. Mm. And we're all going to be like pretty much flying through it so that we can remind you guys and that Taylor can actually learn it and we can go with it. All right. So a prime number is a number that can only be divided by the number one and itself. Okay, Ganyiso, yes, but we are actually leading up to the idea of prime factorization, which is a big thing that we need to learn. Okay, so we're going to be moving a little bit faster today. Okay, so we're going to learn something brand new, something that you would possibly have to learn in grade eight. Okay, all right, so remember, prime number, a number that can only be divided by one and itself, but we need to remember that zero and one are not prime numbers. They are not. They're not prime numbers. So I need a brave soul. Anybody put their hand up for me? So we can go through this quickly. Anybody want to tell me? We can go one to 12, just to make it move a little bit faster. Mutabang. Hi, my sweetie. How are you doing? My name you, ma'am. I'm great, thank you. All right, we're gonna start at one and we're gonna move all the way to 12. And you're gonna tell me which one, which number is a prime number and which is not. Is one a prime number, Mutabang? No, ma'am. Excellent, I already told you that, so. Mm. What about two? Yes, ma'am. Excellent, because I can only divide two by two and by one. Good, no worries, Bulela, welcome. Um, what about three? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. All right. What about four? No, ma'am. Why not? Why not? Because it, because it has to be divided because it has to because it, it has to be divided, divided by, by once and itself. Good. And what other number can I divide four by? Four. Uh, two. Not leaving a remainder. Good. I can divide it by two. So this can't be because then that'll be one, two, and four. And that's three numbers. And we don't want three numbers. We only want two. What about five? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. What about six? No, ma'am. Excellent. Good. And seven? Yes, ma'am. Good. And eight? No, ma'am. And nine? No, ma'am. And 10? No, ma'am. Good. I can see your, your mind. I can feel your mind working from here. What about 11? Yes, ma'am. Oh, good. 11 is a prime number. What about 12? No, ma'am. Excellent, because I can divide 12 by 2. Okay. Well done. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Well done. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask Bonolo this question um, because... Oh, wait. Bonolo, where did you go? Come back. Oh, no. Okay. She's gone. All right. So I am going to say that I can already cancel out 14, 16, 18, 20. Who can tell me why? Can anybody tell me why can I already cancel out all of these even numbers? Does anybody know why? I can already cancel them out. Who has an idea? Ah, there we go. Is it Rana and Heva? Or, or is it like two of you behind the... It's Hermione. Is it Hermione? Yes. Thank you, Hermione. Good. They can all be divided by two. So they already have one more factor. So I can already just cancel them out immediately. So I'm going to go ahead and go 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. There we go. Well done. Okay. 
Awesome. Now I can think of all the other numbers in between. And can you so let's start with 13. Is 13 a prime number or not? It's a prime number. Excellent. And what about 15? No, it's not a prime number. It's not a prime number. Excellent. What about 17? It's a prime number. Mm. Good. And 19? Prime number. Oh, good. What about 21? Not a prime number. Mm, why not? Because it can be divided. It's because three is because it can be divided divide times by three. Good. Divide. It can be divided by three. Good. I can divide it by three. So, no, it's not a prime number. What about 23? Yes. Mm, good. What about 25? No. No. 27? Yeah, no. Is that is that a yes or a no? No. No, good. I can divide it by three as well. What about 29? Yes. Excellent. And that's it. That's what I was looking for. Very well done, and can you saw amazing? Thanks. Excellent. I can tell that you guys actually know your multiplication tables, which is very reassuring. We need to know them by now because we cannot go into high school without knowing our multiplication tables. Now, all the numbers that I've crossed out here are numbers that are not prime. But if they're not prime, we call them composite numbers. This is what we call them. We call them composite numbers. So numbers that are not prime numbers, and Malwanga beat me to it, they're called composite numbers, except for zero and one. Now, what this means is that zero and one, zero and one are not prime, and zero and one are also not composite. They are neither of the two. Okay. So they are not prime and they're not composite. They are just numbers. Okay, they do important things, but when it comes to prime and composite numbers, they don't count anyway. Okay, all right. Can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down? Do we understand what prime numbers are? Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat, guys. Awesome, Hermione. That's it, Cindy and Bonolo, well done. Tehila says, up thumbs. Love it. Excellent, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So now we're going to be looking at factors of numbers. Okay. Now, factors of numbers are numbers that make up another number when multiplied. Okay. Um, or I may have, I may have. Completely, no, let me rephrase that. Sorry, it, it sounds weird now that I've, I've put it together. This is not it. <laughs> this is actually a multiple. <laughs> Teacher Cat, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Factors are numbers that when multiplied, make up the number. Okay, that, that sounds a lot better. Sorry, because even I'm like, Teacher Cat, what have I done here? When multiplied. I mean, I sort of got what you were saying. <laughs> make up the factor sorry okay i now need to like ooh me out here delete 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 there we go factors are numbers that when multiplied make up the number okay it's going to make sense in just a second okay <laughs> it'll make sense okay my 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 english Guys, my English is not Englishing. And I can tell by the way that teacher Kat is looking at my definition that my English is not Englishing, but it will make sense in just a little bit. I'm looking for numbers that when multiplied, make up 12. Okay. Okay, yes. And that's, that's what I'm getting at. Okay, so if I had to multiply two numbers and they had to give me 12, I could multiply one times 12. Bulela, that's coming a little later as we go. Okay, we're going to be doing prime factors, okay? As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing prime factorization to make sure we get it 100% right. Okay, who can give me two other numbers 
that when multiplied together, give me 12. That's it, Singata, well done. Two times six. Anything else, guys? Any other two numbers? Well done, Kamva, that's it. Three times four or four times three. Well done, Tahila. That's what I'm looking for. So when I write down the factors of 12, I'm going to write one and two, three, four, six, and 12. Now, the way that I can check to make sure that I've got them all is I can go one times 12, two times six, and three times four so that I don't forget a single one. I need to make sure that I've remembered all of them. Okay, so I need a brave soul. Anybody out there want to give us the factors of 15? You can raise your hand. No, do me so you're missing a few there. There's a few missing, Bulela. You guys are absolutely right. Three times five, yes. But which other two? So I've got three and five. What else is missing? The one that will always, always be there. Ah, that's it, Singata. Well done. One and 15. Excellent. There, I think, Saisha, you were getting to it. I think they just beat you to it because she just wrote one. one. Yeah, but we were getting there. All right, let's look at 20, guys. What are the factors of 20? Now, I hope you guys are noticing how I'm actually laying them out with a comma in between each number. So that's what I want you guys to do in the chat. When you're putting out the factors of 20, make sure you put them in a line from smallest to biggest. Okay, I'll give you guys a second. You guys have 30 seconds to um, write down all the factors of 20 for me. Pop your answer in the chat. You've missed one, Gulela. Bonolo's also missed one. That's it. Saisha's got it. Awesome. Awesome. That's it, Bonolo. Ooh, Sangye, I don't know about three. And also, that to me looks like 1,234,520. That just looks like a long number to me because there's no commas in between. Well done, Malwanda, that's it. Excellent. Good. So I'm going to, I always write them to make sure I don't forget. I always go one times 20. And then I go, the next one would be two times 10 and then four times five. Now, if you got all of those correct, give yourself a nice pat on the back. Ah, there we go. Bulela finally found his mistake. Excellent, guys. Very well done. All right. Let's do it again. <laughs> well done, Hermione. Pat, pat. Nice one. All right. Factors of 36, guys. Pop your answers in the chat when you're ready. Monolo missed the most important one. <laughs> I feel like she's always forgetting it. She's always forgetting just the one. Oh, In this no. case, she left out two. Ah, I see. Tahila, 15, what is 15 times, mm, which number is going to give me 36? 15 times what? Mm, think about it again. It's not 15. It is a number in the teens, though. Sangye also missed a couple of them. Ah, Bunolo finally figured it out. There's, There's one. one There's, more, one There's one more missing, Bunolo. Go have a look. Shoot, this one is difficult. I Everyone's feel like missing that one shame. Guys, you guys are missing your like very important one. All right, I need you guys to. Oh, Yay! Yes, I need you guys to use the same 
rule that I'm using. Well done, Malwantra. All right, let's look at these. Let's look at it. So I've got one times 36. That's going to give me 36. And then I've got two times what, guys? Two times what is going to give me 36? Two times? Ah, there we go, Bulela. Two times 18. Well done. Two times 18. And then I'm going to get three times 12. And then I'm going to get four times nine. And then there's one right in the middle sitting all by itself. What number is that, guys? A number that multiplies by itself. What's that number in the middle? That's it. Saisha's got the right answer to Hila as well. That's it. Six. Because six times six will give me 36. So it sits right in the middle by itself. Whew, that was a lot, guys. All right. Now, I have to step this up. It cannot be this easy for you guys. Okay. This is just us looking at factors of numbers. Okay. Now, we're going to look at multiples of numbers. Okay. Now, I need to remind you guys. I need to remind you guys that when we are looking at factors, when we were looking at factors, factors have a finite, and I'm going to explain what finite means, a finite number of factors. Okay. I will explain. Okay. But multiples, multiples go on forever. They go on to infinity. They go all the way to infinity. Okay. Now, finite means that there's only a certain amount of them that fits in there. Like if I ask you guys to give me the factors of six, what would you guys say? What are the factors of six? Pop them in the chat for me. Yes, Sangin. So, ma'am, what's the mm. finite thing, ma'am? Mm. What exactly is going on when you say, like, finite? Because the first time I heard finite, I heard, I thought you said finite verb, and I was like... No, 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 no. Okay, it means come something completely different. It's not the finite verb from English, no. Finite means that it starts somewhere and it stops somewhere, Okay. That's yes, what finite means. So when I say the factors of six are finite, it's because the factors of six are exactly one and two and three and six. That's it. Thank you, Bonolo and Singata. That's it. Do you see how I started at one and I stopped at six? Right? Yes, I only have yes, four factors for six. But if I asked you, Sangye, what are the multiples of two? So I can go two times one, I can also go two times two, two times two three, times three, two times, two times, four. times four. I can keep going. Do you see how I can continue going? I'm never gonna stop, right? Yes, ma'am. I'm always going to get numbers. So when I look at factors, my factors are finite because I'm gonna start at one and I'm gonna stop somewhere. But when I look at multiples, multiples go on all the way, they, like they never stop. Like if you stop at 6,000, I can still go 6,002. And then you go 6,004 and I go 6,006. And you go 6,008 and I go 6,010. And then we can just keep going forever and ever and ever. So multiples don't end, but factors have a start point and an end point. You get me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, excellent. So the factors of two are going to be two, four, finish it up for me. Uh, six, eight. Good. Ten. That's it. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Good. Sixteen. You see how we can keep going forever and ever. Yes, ma'am. All the way to infinity times two, because we're just multiplying by two. Okay, so we're never going to be able to stop. Got it.
Excellent. All right. Awesome stuff. All right. I need somebody to give me the factors of five. I know the factors of five are very easy. Who can multiples. give me the factors of five? Okay. Oh, multiples. Multiples. It's the data again, teacher cat. It's running out. The data. Singata, <laughs> let's do the let's do the multiples of five, please. Um, hi, ma'am. Hello, my sweetie. How are you? I'm fine. And how are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. Can you give me the multiples of five, please? It's five, 10, mm. 15, 20, mm. 25, 30, mm. 35, mm -hmm. 40. Yeah, you and I, Singata, we're going to be here all night if you keep going. 45. Like, we're, <laughs> we're just going to be here for the whole night until tomorrow but i get the idea well done very well done singata amazing well done okay i need a brave soul to give me the factors and i say the factors again to give me the multiples of 11 who can give me the multiples of 11 oh okay I'm going to ask Bonolo to do the factors of 11. And then Saisha, I'm going to ask you to give me the factors of seven. Okay. Bonolo, are you with me? I know the factors of 11 are quite easy. Let's go. Have we got yes. them? Hi, ma'am. Hello, my sweetie. How are you? I'm good, and you, ma'am. Excellent. Let's go. Ma'am, it's 11. Good. 22. Mm. 33. Yep. 44. Good. 55. Uh -huh. 66. Uh -huh. 77. Good. 88. Uh -huh. 99. Good. And 110. Good. We can keep going. Remember, they don't end. What comes after 110? What comes after 110 is... It's 100, 121. 21, and then? 132. 132, and then? And? <laughs> it gets a little bit harder, hey? 143, yes, 154, 165, 176, and we can keep going forever and ever and ever and ever. Well done, Bonolo. Excellent stuff. <laughs> Very well done. All right, guys. Okay, I need somebody to give me the multiples of seven, please. Who's brave enough to give me the multiples of seven? Sure. Let's go, my, my dude. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Multiples of seven. Let's go. It's seven. Hmm. 14. Good. 21. Mm -hmm. 28. Mm -hmm. 35. Good. 42. Mm -hmm. 49. Excellent. 56. <laughs> I'm cheating. There we go. 56. And then 63, and then so on and so on. Okay. <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, it's okay, man. <laughs> sure. Awesome. Awesome stuff. All right, guys. It's very important, and I cannot stress this enough, guys. It is very, very important that we learn our multiples. Okay. If you guys, if you know your prime numbers and you know your multiples, then it will make grade eight just a tiny bit easier. It's going to make it a little bit easier because when you get to grade eight, they already assume that you know all your multiplication tables, you know all your prime numbers, and you know your fractions. So they move a lot faster. So they're like, okay, yeah, this is just seven times 11. Okay, cool. Let's move on. And they do that a lot because they think you or they assume that you already know that. Okay, because you learned it in primary school. So you guys need to make sure that you are comfortable with your multiples 
and your prime numbers and your factors. Okay, can I get a thumbs up in the chat? Are we comfortable with the multiples of numbers? Let me know. Awesome, guys. Oh, I love it. Bonolo's like splendid. I love that's such a, a top notch word, splendid. Excellent. Oh, I'm kind of cold. <laughs> a big thumbs up. I love it, guys. I love it. I love it. I, so he's just like, I actually understand. Oh, what a surprise. I actually understand. <laughs> Tahila, we should know how to spell factors and multiples. <laughs> and splendid. We should. All right, guys. Excellent. I think we deserve a brain break. I think we deserve a brain break. Teacher Cat, are you ready? We're going on a cruise again. Aha. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right. Okay. Hmm. Let me pick up this one. All right. Um, Teacher Cat, mm -hmm. I'm going on a cruise. And I'm bringing a book. What? You <laughs> It's a trap. <laughs> it. It's fine. Okay. I'm going on a cruise. Mm -hmm. And I'm bringing my phone. Your phone. Mm. Teacher Cat, you're coming on the cruise. <laughs> finally, hey, finally, it is happening to me. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Okay, I see. Food, water, laptop. No. Ooh, yes. Mutabang with a laptop is going. Mutabang is going. That's your that's your clue. Sangye, what are you bringing? Um, uh, Mama's gonna say laptop as well, ma'am. Mm, you're gonna have to think of something else. Um, uh, I'm gonna say iPad, man. Your iPad. Okay, you're definitely coming. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. I want to see who's gonna get the clue here. And can you? So, what are you bringing? I'm gonna bring my. A TV. A TV. Okay. You're definitely coming. Well done. Well done. I think you guys have figured it out by now, but let me see if you've actually figured it out or not. Mujalifa, what are you going to bring us? Um, Ma'am, I think I'm going to bring an iPod. An iPod. I don't even think iPods exist anymore. But yeah, if you want to bring things blast from the past, yes, Mujalifa, you can and you're definitely going. Well done. Militia, what are you going to bring us? Um, a novel. A novel. Mm. Okay, I'll take it. Yes, we'll take novel because I didn't say what kind of book. So yeah, okay, novel. Militia, you're definitely coming. You are coming. Bonolo, what are you bringing, my sweetie? Um, actually, ma'am, I was going to say a laptop, but somebody else already said it, so mm -hmm. I think I'm going to say um a storybook. A storybook? I feel like you guys are cheating because storybook and novel are kind of sort of the same thing. Mm, but okay, okay, you can come, Bonolo. You can come. That's okay. <laughs> you can come. Okay, has anybody figured it out yet? Guys, put your clues in the chat. Kamva, what are you bringing? Um, ma'am, I'm gonna bring dumbbells, ma'am. Dumbbells. Yes, Kamva, yes, you're coming. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am, can't rest, ma'am. Mm. Awesome. Can't rest. <laughs> They didn't believe you could do it. God did. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I shouldn't be making that joke here. Singata, what are you going to bring? Um, Ma'am, I'm going to bring a swimming costume. 
a swimming costume. Mm, yes, you're definitely coming, Singata. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Tahila, what are you bringing? Hello. Oh, it works. Okay. Hello. Um, uh, Mem, what about earphones or headphones? Yes, absolutely. Headphones, oh. you're coming. Let's go. Let's go. Headphones. Awesome. Sangye, what are you bringing? I think we've been through this uh -huh. before. I just want to see if somebody can can catch on. Sangye, what are you bringing? Um, I'm, I'm going to bring a MacBook. A MacBook, which is also a laptop. I feel like you're cheating, but okay. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. All right. I want to see if anybody's figured out the clue. How do we get to go on the, on the cruise? Teacher Kat, do you have an idea? As soon as someone said dumbbells, they lost me. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> lost me. They, okay, let me see. Kamba, do you know? How do we get to go on the, on the cruise? We need clothes, ma'am. Mm, not exactly is it clothes. Like, is it like and hobbies? And laptops and phones are not clothes. Is it like hobbies? Yes, teacher cat, it is. Things that you do to entertain yourself. Wow. Things that you use to entertain yourself. Because, wow, it's I thought I had it. But when someone said dumbbells, dumbbells. And yeah. I was like, yo, I can't. Yes, because you, you use dumbbells to exercise. Mm -hmm. I get to it. And you know. swimming costume. You go to swim. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taylor's like speechless. <laughs> I don't think it was that difficult. It was not that difficult, guys. Mm, it was not that difficult. Ah, I think it was okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are a little ahead of time. So I want to introduce us to what we were actually going to start on on Wednesday but we can definitely do it now. Okay, add another page quickly. Okay, HCF and LCM. Okay, all right. So we're going to be learning about highest common factors and lowest common multiples. Now, I want you guys to remind me Mm, good. Alicia's getting the idea. She's like highest and lowest. Ah, oh, there's something very, very important there. So HCF, guys. HCF stands for highest common factor. And LCM stands for lowest common multiple. Okay, so excuse me, these two things are very important, but the thing that connects them, the thing that connects them is this word, common and common. So when we think about numbers that are going to be common, that's exactly what we're going to find. So when we're looking for a highest common factor, we need to remember how to find factors of numbers and when they look for the, when we're looking for the lowest common multiple, we need to remember how to find multiples of numbers. So if I asked you guys, what is the highest common factor of 16 and 24? What we're going to do is we're gonna go, we're gonna start with 16, and we're going to list all the factors of 16. Who can give me the factors of 16, guys? Anybody know the factors of 16? I think this one is quite easy. I gave you guys a small number. Nkanyiso, can you give us the factors of 16? No, my is like two. <laughs> There's many more, no, my All right, Nkanyiso, take it away. Okay, so one, two. Good. <laughs> two. two, excellent. And four. Good. Five. And 
L. T. Eight. Good. Eight and? 16. Excellent. Whoever is feeding you the answers in the back in Kanye, so they're a genius. <laughs> and they need to come to watch out. They're a whole genius. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Very well done, Kaniso. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness, my whole heart. I'm just... Tehila, you are too young to want that child. <laughs> Relax. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Very well done, Kaniso and family. We've got future Watobians coming. I feel it. I feel it. All right. Sangi, can you give us the factors of 24? Uh, Ma'am, one. Good. Two. Mm -hmm. uh, three. Wait. Good. Three. Um, four. Good. Uh, eight. You skipped one, but I'll give you eight. Six. Mm -hmm. uh, and? And 24. We skipped another one, 24. Think about it. Um, oh, 12. There we go. Ah, there we go. We caught it right in time. Oh, yes. Excellent. Well done, Sangye. Love it. All right. Awesome. So now we've got the highest common, oh, we've got the factors of 16 and 24. Which number, the highest number, which number do they have in common? that is highest, guys. Not the smallest number, the biggest number that they have in common. That's it, Saisha. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Which number do they have in common, guys? The biggest number that they have in common. That's it. It's eight. See, this is eight here and eight. Going that way, going in that direction, they don't have anything else in common. So when I ask you guys, what is the highest common factor of 16 and 24? The highest common factor is eight, is equal to eight. Excellent. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Are we happy, guys? I hope we're happy. All right. Now we need to go look for the LCM. We want the lowest common multiple. We want the lowest common multiple of three. And let me think of a nice number. Mm, three and a number that doesn't divide into three. Ooh, three and 10. There we go. Three and 10. Okay. So who knows what do we have to do first? Who can tell me what are we going to have to do first? Nkanyiso and company. What are we going to have to find first? So we're going to have to find the multiples of three. Good, good. All right. Can you give me the multiples of three? Let's go. Three. Three. Good. three. Six, nine. Good, six, nine, 12, 15, 12, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, <laughs> Excellent. So now I want the multiples of 10. You can give me the multiples of 10. This one is easy. It's very easy. Singata, what are the multiples of 10? Um, um, it's 10. Good. 20. Good. 30. Mm. 40. Mm. 50. Good. 60. Mm -hmm. 70. Excellent. 80. Good. 90. Mm -hmm. 100. Okay, we'll stop. We'll stop at 100 because they can keep going, but we're going to stop here. Okay, excellent. Very well done, Singata. Now, 
Guys, let's have a look at these numbers. Where is the first, the very first number that they have in common, the smallest or the lowest common multiple that they have? What is that number that we're looking for? Ah, you guys have got it exactly. Well done, Saisha and Alicia and Hermione. The lowest common multiple or the LCM is 13. Is 13. Excellent. Okay, I feel like this is way too easy for you. I feel like it's way, way, way too easy. You guys have this on lock. After 30 for the first one we did, is it 33? Yes, my handwriting is just terrible, Tahila. It's 33. It's 33. It is. Okay, so I want to ask you guys, I'm going to put a butt here. You know how I love my butt. But, <laughs> sorry, sorry, teacher Bonolo. <laughs> sorry, Bonolo. I'm so sorry. But I want to ask you guys, I want to ask you guys, what is the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of eight? <laughs> Tahila's like, let me tool. <laughs> Hmm. Think about this, guys. Instead of one number. Yeah, of one number. Oh. <laughs> Mujalifa's like, ah, no, I choose peace. I'm not fighting, guys. I promise I'm not fighting. Okay, <laughs> let's think about this, guys. When we have to look for a lowest common multiple, what do we have to do? You guys know exactly what we have to do. I'm sorry, Saisha. I'm so sorry. Guys, what do I need to do? When I look for a lowest common multiple, good. Bonolo's like, list the multiples. Let's list the multiples, guys, of eight. What are the multiples of eight? Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, and so on and so forth and off we go 64 now these this is the lcm now let's list the highest not the highest common factor sorry this is the multiples i'm lying this is the multiples of 8 now let's list the factors of 8 what are the factors of 8 guys what are the factors of 8 Can you so my dude? I know you know the answer. I absolutely know you know the answer. I want to see if everybody else knows the factors of eight. It's quite easy. That's it, Hermione. That's it. One, two, four, and eight. Well done. That's it. Those are the factors of eight. Now, guys, which lowest common multiple and highest common factor of eight shows up? Which number shows up in both? That's it, Mujalifa. Now you're seeing it. What is the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of eight, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher cat. It's a trick question that they like to ask in grade eight. They do. They say, what is a number that is both a multiple and a factor of eight? And the wow. answer is... I can't believe you're telling me this now when I registered <laughs> my tests. My grade eight next year, they're going to... Yeah. yeah, you must let them know, teacher cat. Just and I blame you for that. Numbers and say, what is what is the what is a number that is both a multiple and a factor of choose a number? Sure. So if I ask you guys, what is a number that is both a multiple and a factor of 15? What is my answer? Tell me in the chat, guys. 
What is the number that is both a multiple and a factor of 15? That's it, Saisha. 15. That's it. Oh, see, guys, it was, it was not that bad. It was not bad at all. <laughs> Alicia's like, I think 15. <laughs> it is. It's 15, I promise, Alicia. Okay, you guys, <laughs> you guys are amazing. I told you guys that but is my whole life. <laughs> Tehila, it's always going to be this nice, I promise. It's always going to be this nice. Thank you guys 